Good morning and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this morning with Luca and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Luca's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give the dogs when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give any correction that's needed and the only correction that we've used here with him is a little tug and release on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. He's going to come home with his very own training collar and you're going to be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session. Now we're doing this training video for you, just Rich and Luca, but we have worked Luca with a lot of distractions and a lot of other dogs. And he's to the point now that he doesn't even look at them. He's very, very calm on leash and doing a really good job. And if you notice, he's sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're gonna demonstrate for you is healing. The command is Luca heal, and then you take off walking. Now at this point, Luca has a job to do, and that is to pay more attention to you than he's paying attention to the things that are going on around him. You want that focus, that eye contact, and he should not be passing your left leg. He should stay with you. If you turn, he should turn. And throwing in right turns, left turns, and about turns really helps him to stay focused on you because he's not sure what you're going to do next. When you stop your feet, he's been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. So if you come across a distraction that's really amping him up, Walk quickly past the distraction, tell him no heel, and keep going, keep your feet moving. Now the next exercise that we're gonna demonstrate for you is the sit stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command, and because it is a stationary exercise, you do not use his name prior to the stay. The long sit stay when you're practicing at home is for one minute and you should work up to three minutes. You should practice outdoors with distraction as well as in the house because part of your problems with him were indoor manners, jumping at the windows, scratching up the, the walls. When Rich returns back to him, he walks all the way around him and that's an additional distraction. Back to heel position and at this point, Luca expects to get another command and they take off healing again. So whenever you return back to heel position, Luca's gonna wait for you to tell him what you want him to do next, whether it's to get up and walk with you or whether it's to stay again, whatever it is, you have to tell him. Stay. Rich leaves him in a sit stay, walks out to the end of his leash. And remember, everything that we're looking for is focus, attention span, maturity length of time that he can pay attention. This time Rich is going to call him. The command is Luca come if you couldn't hear Rich and he comes right in front and sits facing your knees and then he goes back to heel position and back sitting. Now if you see that he's getting a little distracted which he is right now I heard somebody in the yard next door go back to doing an easier exercise go back to healing something that gets him back focused on you. You know, he's not a zombie. He's going to want to look at things when you're out on walks, but what he can't do is be reactive. Stay. Rich leaves him in another sit stay. And he's going to call him. Now I know some of these commands Luca had, now these commands have been mastered so that he does them with and without distraction. And I think early on you're going to practice in the privacy of your own yard and your own house and then there's no reason why he can't be included in a lot of your activities. Now, he's seated at Rich's left. We're gonna demonstrate the down from a heel position. So you take your left open palm, straight down toward the ground, and the one word command to down and stay. 
when you're indoors or in an enclosed place, you can actually drop the leash, you know, lengthen out your time, your distance, because he's not a puppy. He's a mature dog and he should act like one. When Rich returns back to him, he will walk all the way around him just as he did on the sit stay. He returns back to meet his leash, and at this point, he gets a little pat for praise, which is a release, and they heal again. Remember when you're telling him, good boy, unless you're trying to get him to focus on you, you're releasing him from the exercise. So save your praise for the end when you're working with him. Nice automatic stay. sit, down, stay. and stay. And he's holding it beautifully. He's, he's, a, he's a nice boy. We've, we've enjoyed having him. This time Rich will call him out of that exercise. Comes right in and sits and then he returns to heel position. back sitting. Great. Now the very next and last exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is the down from a distance. And we put this video together for you like a drill so that you can put it up on your computer and work right along with it. Rich is going to leave him in a sit stay. He's going to walk out to the end of his leash and turn to face him. He's going to use his right hand to give this command. Down. Very good. Now we have demonstrated for you all of the formal on-leash obedience commands. And like I mentioned before, I know that some of these he knew when he got here. So we're going to be able to move forward in training with you at home to get you exactly where you need to be. He's done a great job here at school and we will see you on Sunday. Have a great weekend.